Bom dia, Portugal. We have spent most of our lives working to live, working to save enough so we can live that dream life in the future. Sometimes we get so caught up creating our dreams of tomorrow that we can miss out on all the wonders of today. This causes many of us to plan and search our next place where we can find adventure regardless of our age, income, and work status. We all want to live in a first world country, someplace wonderful. If you are an American, you probably never thought about Portugal until a few years ago. And all of a sudden out of the blue, Portugal is all you hear about. The energy surrounding the possibilities in the country is intoxicating. But if so many are coming so fast, there are bound to be people discovering it is not what they dreamed to be. Why is this happening? Our walk today will take us up to Area do Cerrado, where we will walk down in the Nuns Valley or Corral de Freyas. The walk takes about an hour and 20 minutes if you are going down versus up. We have not ever chosen to walk it uphill, so how long that could take may simply be forever for us. Once you get down into town, it is wonderful. We recommend that you stop by for lunch and have some roasted chestnuts. In case you are new to our channel, I am Alan. I'm here with my wife Leslie, our son Wolf, dog Greer, and Rex the cat. We are from the United States and now live in Portugal on the beautiful island of Madeira. We hope you will find our journey helpful as you work to navigate your own. It'll be fun. Vicer Divertido. If you enjoy our videos, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. A little about us. We have been on Madeira for two years. Our plans have changed multiple times. We have planned to purchase a home, but still rent today. We struggle to learn the language and will keep trying until it happens. We meet wonderful new people every day, but still struggle to find those everlasting friendships. We have come to terms with never having a garden or a garage again. Don't worry, we aren't actually heartbroken about it. We know that even with the difficulties above, this has been and will remain one of the best adventures we could have ever created for ourselves. We have no regrets and feel blessed every single day with all that we have been given. You know, life is short. We should have done this sooner. I could pinch myself. With so much information available to research a country, culture, and lifestyle, why do we still make mistakes? I know that we spent months and years researching because we always knew that one day we would find a way to retire. Now, granted, during much of that time, we were just trying to ensure we would have enough money. We really didn't want to grow old and have to eat cat food on crackers, as the saying goes. And like everyone, we started by exploring many options in the country we had lived in. Meaning we ran all around the US looking for our next place, the one that would allow us to put all the pieces of the puzzle together. Then one day, we knew our next adventure was going to be in another country. And now the world has truly opened up before us. We are viewer supported. If you enjoy our videos, we invite you to join our Patreon community. The world. With the entire world to choose from, your options become almost overwhelming. In our case, we went back to the list in order to fill our bucket of options with the countries and places that ticked all the big boxes. Like cost of living. Could we really afford to live there? Quality of life. Would our life be better than we could hope for at home? Adventure. Does the idea of a location fill us with excitement? Healthcare. Will we have access to affordable first world healthcare? Now, we had a new list with many options. This is when the pressure to really choose the right place and to do so before it is too late can set in. 
As you go through your journey, you will meet people who visited a new country for just a few days and went home and packed up their lives and never looked back. You will meet people who bought a home online in a country they had never visited. And the fairy tale had begun. Life is perfect. You will meet people that are 20 years older than you and had had lived most of their life in one place. They made the move, just proving that age is not a barrier. You will also meet people who spent many more years than you visiting and doing an in-depth study of the location that they were moving to. You also meet people who tell you everything is perfect, just perfect. All these stories are helpful, but they can also add pressure to each of us as we are creating our next adventure. They did it. It was so easy. Surely, I can too. For some of us, we really do the research, planning, due diligence with scouting trips, and spending time in the country. But when we get there, we are extremely unhappy. The culture, the weather, healthcare, language, which at the time didn't seem to be an issue, but it is an issue. These feelings can settle in immediately or after the honeymoon phase is over. You know how the honeymoon phase works. It is all great, wonderful, and perfect. And then you wake up one day and you think, how do they miss all the signs? Here are some truths we want you to watch out for. The culture is different in Portugal, which is all part of the adventure, but it is hard to adjust to the feeling that everything is harder to accomplish than before. For example, you schedule an appointment with someone, even a large company, and they either show up late or not at all. We all know things come up, but when they don't call you in advance to tell you that they will be an hour late or to reschedule for tomorrow, that is frustrating. As an American, you are probably feeling like that they think your time is less valuable than theirs. Guess what? The Portuguese don't even think about it. It really isn't a problem. These are just cultural differences. Transportation is different. The roads are different. On mainland Portugal, the big roads and highways are toll roads. The tolls are very high compared with the few times that you may have encountered them in the USA. If you were on Madeira, the highways are not toll roads, yet. But the entrance and exit ramps were designed by someone who has never tried to merge into traffic that's going 60 miles an hour. Everyone drives to the end of the tiny little ramp and stops. Zero to 60 really means something here. Most of the remaining roads are too skinny for the amount of the traffic that is on them. Street parking can literally mean parking in the street and causing it to become one lane. Parking garages were designed by serial killers that needed a different occupation. So they created ramps that are too small. You will see dings in all the sides of most cars. Just kidding. If you are from the US, moving to Europe is a fantastic dream that actually includes the thought of not having to get in a car to drive everywhere you go. Walking to the cafe in the corner or do local shopping is high on the list, which is fantastic, but you need to understand the Portuguese sidewalks are uneven and because of the stones they are made of, they are slippery when it rains. Or there are no sidewalks and you are walking in the road in a fairly busy area. This is a limiting factor as we age or if we are young with a family. Exercising. If you are a runner or cyclist, you may find that just popping outside your door and going for a run or a ride is dangerous. Therefore, it may take a little bit more planning to get to the Levada running trail or park. Public transportation sounds nice as well. In the USA, public transportation 
is really only in developed big cities. Every place else in the country we drive. We all have two cars or more. They are big and roomy and have great big wide roads to drive on. We like the idea of public transportation in Portugal for many reasons. One of which is that we are simply uncomfortable on skinny roads or entering highways with short ramps or looking for parking and we don't want to scratch or dent in our cars. One of the realities on riding a bus is that you have to have a ticket or money in your pocket to pay for as you get on. You have to stand and wait for it to arrive and it may show up full and you can't get on. You have to pre-plan where you're going and what you are doing based upon the train or bus schedule. And sometimes you wonder, is this really the dream you were looking for? Buying real estate here is different. Negotiating for the property is different. Adding contingencies for things like inspections and financing are different. The seller here may have you waiting for days and maybe weeks before responding to an offer or request only to want an immediate response from you. We have made offers on a property and waited for a response only to have the owner raise the price. Not a counter offer. No, actually raise the price of the property. Graffiti. The treatment of the property is not the same as the United States. On the mainland Portugal and throughout Europe, you will find it shocking to see all the graffiti. Tags on old restored buildings, brand new buildings, and the sides of people's houses, etc. These are not works of art. They are what we would just consider vandalism. These can be seen in all areas, not just spaces that are neglected. It can be very hard to deal with. The visual is heartbreaking. There are so many things that are different that for some, it can be more than they wanted. We want you to know that no matter how much research you have put into your adventure, the journey will be different. Reach out to the people around you. They will help you, and if you do need to move back, that'll be fine. You have still gone on your incredible adventure just for a shorter time than you had planned. Many people hope and dream and never get to try. If you are one of the ones that can't, we get it. Please come along on our adventure with us. We have already had many twists and turns and have learned to embrace each one of them. Let us know what we can help you with. For example, planning your journey from the scouting trip through getting settled in Madeira. Join us on Patreon, where we can help you with a NIF, connect you with our trusted real estate agent, immigration team, tax attorney, etc. Don't forget to pick up your free moving abroad planning checklist at www.it'llbefunretirement.com. We hope you continue to come along with us on our new adventure. Life is short. We should have done this sooner. Please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to help us grow. The next stage in your life is a journey.